I'd actually auditioned for like another role. And so it, it had sort of gotten to the point where I'd actually been auditioning for it for like a couple of months for like other roles to the one I ended up playing. And, you know, it sort of built up so much in my head as like, OK, I'm either going to get this or I'm not, but I really hope I do. And then I did. And, and so it was just excitement. And I grew up with Harry Potter. So for me, she's a kind of, you know, part of my childhood. And I think for me as well, because I play a model in it and I am a model as well. And I've turned down playing a model so many times just because I kind of always felt like it would be nice to keep them separate and um, just, you know, it'd be easy to just play that. And so I just basically said no a lot. And then I got this and it just felt like if there's anything you do that for, it's something <laughs> like this where it's JK Rowling and BBC and HBO and, you know, and the character itself is very three-dimensional and interesting and she was specifically written as someone very intelligent which I thought was very interesting because it's nice to play against a certain kind of stereotype and well I'm assuming yeah. then if you're saying you've been offered roles of models in films or tv in the past yeah and this time there this character was intelligent yeah you would I'm maybe inferring that the other ones weren't so smart I think it can be slightly two-dimensional I think for girls anyway, let alone playing a model. And I think it was nice that the point of this, and not only the point of her, but the thing they really wanted to emphasize with her was that she's she's kind of like having a great time in her situation, but she's not that identified with it. And actually she's kind of bigger than it. You know, it's set very much around the kind of fashion industry and there's like a kind of fashion designer character and there's me and there's other models. and. Um, in fact, with all of those roles, they really played against the stereotype, which I thought was really positive and really nice. I mean, as as someone who has a, a career in modelling and and lives in London, yeah, um, and is so highly aware of the scene that's being depicted within this work, yeah. I mean, did you find it realistic? Did you find it a, 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 you know, a space which you actually recognised? I think modelling is an, is a kind of a profession that is is looked at as as very glamorous and actually the reality of your days usually is you in the rain in London with an A to Z and trying to find a casting and being very lost. The, the good things about it are also the bad things in the sense that you travel a lot but you're also on your own and you're usually quite young when you start and you have to kind of navigate new cities and be an adult really before you are one and so I think that's the reality my character isn't really in that place anymore so there wasn't so much of a parallel there. And just yeah. finally um can you impersonate a cuckoo? A cuckoo? Can Absolutely you? not. But actually, weirdly, now you say that, I do remember there was a day with me and Tom, with Tom and me, sorry, my mum will kill me. Um, <laughs> and it was like one of those days where you've been going for like however long and you're a bit, you get a bit just basically cabin fever and we weren't outside, we were like inside a location. And I just have this memory of us, like every time before we went to do a take, we'd just do like cat noises at each other. Like we just hiss at each other. <laughs> and just be like and then like go into a scene and like at the time it felt completely fine and now I look back and think it's kind of mad so just but, yeah. to be clear that's not your usual process that's not my process yeah we did we did cat noises